morning. Welcome back to the Craps Pit. Um, we've had several questions lately about <clears throat> exactly what are we talking about in our videos of where do, where do we really want to land the dice? And uh, we're going we're gonna to show you uh, where to land the dice specifically and also the behavior on certain surfaces. So let's talk about that. Okay, you've got, you've got a pair of dice and the dice are cubes and the cubes are square 90 degrees so each one is a cube each one is 90 degrees you kind of like have a rectangle when you have them together so the idea is all about angles okay so when you throw the dice through the air remember the bottom of the dice need to be parallel to the surface landing the dice four to six inches from the back wall. Now if you notice these diamonds here, if you realize it or not, they're 45 degree. When the dice hit, comes straight up underneath those diamonds. And as you can see, Pablo can dial in on that a little bit. That 45 and that 90 degree make a good marriage. It's a good angle. It takes the kinetic energy of the dice and forces them straight down and they stop. And if you notice, Pablo, hand me some chips, please. If you notice, the pass line's here. Odds are behind the pass line. That's why we're throwing the dice back here, and they should land in front of the chips. So the chips don't have any conflict with the dice. Because as you know the saying, when the dice go funny when they hit the money, and then that's usually when you get a, a negative result. Pablo, you, no, no, you said when the dice... Hit you, the money. I understand that. You said the dice should land in front of the chips. Did you mean in back or in front well, of the chips? Well, in back of the chi yeah, chips said, here. In front would be Yeah, you said you here. said when the dice went in front, you want them to land in back of the yeah, chips. Yeah, in back of the in, chips. I'm, okay. I'm looking, it's in front to me. But if you're the player here, it's behind these, the true odds. Behind true. the true odds. True. Okay? So, again, you want to land the dice flat, coming up underneath the 45 degree angle, taking the kinetic energy, dropping them down, and the dice come to rest. So try that, practice that, and your results will improve in the casino. Okay, the behavior of your dice on certain table surfaces. I'm a stick right shooter myself. And certain casinos, certain table conditions will not allow me to shoot from stick right. And remember, all of our, it's all about angles. So, <clears throat> specifically like at Steve Wynn's Casino in Las Vegas or the Palazzo, I cannot shoot from stick right on those tables. The, the, the reaction of the dice, way too, too much action. It, they bounce all over the table. So what I do is I move to stick left. And again, I'm 90 degrees to the table, lining the dice up with like the L on the pass line because it's nice and straight line. The word line is straight lines in the letters. Fingers on the surface. As you notice, the dice are parallel. So being a right-handed shooter from stick right, there's too much energy on the dice. But from stick left, when you throw the dice, it's a lot softer throw. The dice behave much better from stick left than do stick right on those particular table surfaces. Okay, talking about how the dice react on certain table surfaces, we just talked about from stick right shooters to move to stick left, you may also want to practice this. Stick right, instead of shooting right-handed, even though you're a right-handed shooter, practice shooting left-handed. And the reason being is this would be the same as if you were right-handed shooting from stick left. And the deal is when you throw from left-handed, uh, your dice are much softer. They don't land as hard and they don't bounce all over the table. So try that during practice on your home practice table or rig and then take it to the casino because it's a dexterity thing. You need to practice gripping the dice with your left hand. And you'll be amazed at how much softer your toss is. Okay, we're still on the same subject of dice behavior. Now, if your dice aren't behaving on the table like you think that they should be, 
then what you need to do is figure out exactly what are my dice doing in that surface at that time. So for instance, if, if the majority of your throws and the dice are off axis on one die, well then the proper set to use would be the hard way set. Because if they're down there and they're bouncing around a little bit, but one die is off axis and the other die stays on axis, mathematically as you know, there are no sevens. So you can try that. The problem with the hard way set is if you double pitch, one die rotates two extra turns, there's your seven. So if you know what your dice are doing, uh, and you're double pitching, what I would recommend to do, instead of doing the axis of uh, 1, 6, 1, 6, I would invert the two axis and make it a 6, 1, 1, 6 axis, and then rotate one die forward or backwards. So if we rotate the right die backwards to us, you have 6s and 8s all the way around. If you rotate it at one click forward, you're going to have 5 and 9s all the way around. Now, this is a very forgiving set, because now if you double pitch, because of the way your dice are reacting, one turn, two turn, double pitch, you're going to get sixes and eights. If you're off axis on one die, the other one stays on axis, just like the hard way set. Mathematically, again, there are no sevens. So you need to know what your particular dice are doing on that particular surface, and then you can overcome the surface by the particular dice set at that particular moment. Pablo has a question. No, a, a comment here, and that is, you know, that's one of the reasons why we give you a green die and a red die, so that you can practice at home before you go to the casino, so that you know before you get there what your dice are doing. If you practice on your own rig, then you know that, and, and, and you're using a red and green dice, you can know what they're doing and make the adjustment before you get to the casino. Absolutely. That's actually why we use the red and green dice. So if you know these things when you go, you know, make it to your, um, you know, to your favor when you get to the casino and implement it, and I guarantee you, your, your results will improve. Okay.